Hey everyone, welcome back to AFTV. Now Arsenal are facing Zurich in Switzerland. We're looking forward to it. It's the opening game of the Europa League group stage game. So we've got to do a predict 11 because... Well, we've got this big fancy new touchscreen. Why wouldn't we use it? <laughs> it does. I mean, I've got to say, I had so much fun with this with Graham. Uh, but we've I got. Mean, to, you're loving this, aren't you? Yeah, this, this is this is so up my street. I'm like, thank you very much. <laughs> by the way, I haven't even said that yet. Um, but this is a really interesting discussion because how many predict 11s did we do last year when we didn't have Europe and Arsenal on a good run and we were kind of just like probably the same team. Maybe team picks one. itself, isn't it? Exactly. But this, this is, is different. This, this is, is very different. different. And like you said, for the first time, you know, in a couple of seasons. Um, well, especially like last season, no European games. Now Mikel Arteta is really going to have to think about when he's putting these teams together mm -hmm. and think about the games that is co coming up now. Obviously, off the back of a defeat against Man United, I'm beaten record broken. We've got a tough game at the weekend. I know yeah. we've got a great record against Everton, yeah. but Everton, good result for them last week. You know what I mean? Ground out a draw against Liverpool. We really need to get back on track. We want to win that game. Yeah. So can he go gun-ho in this game? I really don't think so. I think there's going to be a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. And also that, that game would have took a lot out of some of the players. And we, we've had injury issues and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the 11's going to be. And our predicted 11 um, is going to be interesting as well because it won't be... I think we'll see a lot of new faces in this game. Yep, I agree. Let's build it now. Now, if you haven't checked out our match preview for the game, do check that out after this video. Because one of the things we actually spent a bit of time touching on was kind of the way the fixtures have panned out, separated themselves a little bit, how they've maybe spaced themselves quite nicely. And Arsenal maybe have an opportunity to take these early games fairly seriously. Maybe a lot of the first teamers will play, try get the job done before those other ties sit in between City mm. and Liverpool, Tottenham and all that. That's, that's what's going to be really intriguing for me, James, right? Is the fact that does Mikel Arteta say, right, you know what, let's go strong yeah. for the first three games, get them games won. Mm. It's more or less, in a tournament like this, if you won, you win your first three games. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. you got to do is one other draw, but you're through. Yeah. Top two teams go through, so that's going to be interesting to see how he plays it. Certainly, you don't want to get off to a losing start. No, definitely not. So let's begin with the goalkeepers. We've got them down your side there: Turner, Hine, and Aaron Ramsdale. Ramsdale will be rested for this game. I'm sure of it. Remember, Ramsdale was a bit of a doubt even yeah, for the Man was, United yeah. game. So for me, and I'll do it first here. Here he comes. Here we go. Matt Turner starts in goal. We're looking forward to seeing how he gets on. Um, he only figured in the uh, pre-season. Um, a lot of people said he had a few little shaky moments. But I think this is the perfect game for him to come in and really prove himself. Yeah, agreed. Now we're looking at the right backs. Yeah. And I've got my eye on Cedric or Tommy Assi. Um, Ooh, but I think we've got to debate time. this one a little bit because it also yeah. depends how much he's going to rotate a centre-back. Now Tommy Assi, undroppable last season. Cedric played most of the season because of Tommy Asu's injuries. And assume... Cedric, an experienced guy in yeah. a what could be quite a young side if, yeah, if this changes. Point. So I think he's going to give the nod to Cedric here. You know, I, you know what? I think you could be right. You know, yeah, I think you could be right. Let's put him in. Cedric, a right back. I feel like he'll give him the nod um, because. And now we're moving along a little bit, but because I think Tommy Asu might play centre back in this game. Oh, that's a good shot. So let's discuss the centre backs. Yeah. Well, listen, about them? I think Rob Holding is a unless he's injured at all, he'll be a nailed on set to start in this game. Mm -hmm. um, an experienced player as well. Um, as you know, come on in a few games, you know, and listen, we know he's a reliable player to bring in uh, as a, as a backup to Saliba. Saliba's played all the games. Mm -hmm. You could also play Ben White there as well, of course. But mm -hmm. those two need resting for me for the weekend. I don't really want to see them getting any minutes in this game. So yeah. Rob Holding for me. So this is interesting because this is looking, and I mean, with all due respect to these three players, this is looking very rotated already. Yeah. So I have a feeling... It's rotated already, but those are two guys that experience sure, yeah. and play games. You know I mean? so it's a good point. So if we're moving on to cent you know, the other centre-back and left-back, I... I know I just said Tommy Asu right back. Mm. I've got a feeling he might go for Gabriel just to keep it. I've got a feeling he might keep Gabriel in as yeah. well. Plus as well, Gabriel's had a few little shaky moments. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you need a bit more playing time, get yourself, you know what I mean? Because on the weekend mm. against United as well. So you want me to shift him up there for you? Go on, you go. You, you, you get oh. Gabriel in there. So, but this gets interesting now. 
because Left back. I don't think Tommy Asu's not going to start. So, does, I'm, I'm okay. Okay, I'm going to put this out there now. I think Tommy Asu starts. Okay, so who's out then? I think I think maybe Holding's out. Nah, Rob Holding's going to start. Rob Holding's going to start this game. But do you think Cedric's going to start over Tommy Asu? Tommy Asu's the one he's been bringing on off the bench. So maybe, maybe Tommy Asu starts and then Cedric comes on later. Right. On. Should we change that? I, yeah. I'm okay. Let's change that. So we'll bring in. Tommy Asu at right back. Yeah. Okay. Left right. back. And then left back, Kieran Tierney, surely. Kieran Tierney, surely. Yeah. Zinchenko will be rested for this Especially game. Especially because he was a slight injury yeah. doubt. Um, and I think it'll be good for Tierney to mm. get some more minutes. I'm glad he had the two starts mm. against Fulham and Villa. Another opportunity for minutes. Okay, we move into midfield and now it gets really interesting because how yeah. much can you really rotate? Now we've got the likes of... Jacarel, well, Nenny's unavailable, Partey's unavailable, Lukonga, Odegaard, Smith, Rowe, Vieira. Lukonga is definitely going to, I feel, start and should start yeah. in the centre of midfield. He's not played um, many games, not started many games so far this season. Mm -hmm. um, he played against Man United. I thought he did on the whole well, even though there's a little error for one of the goals. Mm -hmm. But we want to play him as much as possible in that position. He may, may also have to play at the weekend as well. Although yeah. this, the rumours are Partey is starting to near in coming yeah. back. But I'd play Lukonga there. I think I would too. And a lot of the things around the, the United game were in possession, very good. Out of possession, not great. I'm yeah. hoping he doesn't have to do too much work out of possession. I mean, yeah. still, you've got to work still, hard and defend. A but game like this is still a game, a very competitive game mm -hmm. against a side that have been giving it their absolute all. You've got to remember when these teams like at FC Zurich's playing, mm -hmm. equate it to like, say playing a, a, a team from the championship in an FA Cup final, in an FA Cup game, they're going to give you everything. So it's a good test for him. But I agree, it's a good test. his class should be able to come through. So good mm -hmm. game for him to start. OK, now I'm going to go on this side of the midfield and Xhaka is going to play. This guy is... I've been a Xhaka critic over the years, but A, he's in brilliant form and B, he's an absolute machine. Mm -hmm. Absolute machine. I remember when he was out with a knee problem last season, he came back early and then started immediately. Mm. You know, it, it, his fitness has never been a problem at Arsenal. When it is, yeah. he bounces back phenomenally. So and I think also, he keeps his place. Another reason, another good reason for him to start this game. Oh, he's Swiss. He's Swiss. He's from Switzerland. Yeah. All right. So um, he'll be used to the environment. Might be able to pop home before the game, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where about to Switzerland. We're really is. scraping for points. I am really aren't scraping it. Right. So then we're looking at the Odegaard role. Right, the Odegaard role. I'm leaving Odegaard out. He's playing a lot of minutes, of course. Yeah. I probably would add Smith-Rowe in there, but Smith-Rowe um, looks like he's going to be out with an injury. Mm -hmm. um, this is the chance to see this guy, who I was very impressed with when he came on mm -hmm. um, at the weekend, and that is Fabio Vieira. Remember, we mm -hmm. paid nearly £34 million pounds for this guy. He's been injured since we bought him, but... Nice little cameo the other day, mm -hmm. played for the under-23s, um, um, remember in a game recently as well, on the right-hand side that was. Yeah, on the right But way, this yeah. is a chance for him to play in that midfield area. And of all the players here, he's the one I'm most excited to see in yeah. that game. And I hope he gets a start in the midfield right here in that order guard role. I echo all of those things. That's, I mean, that's it. I thought he did well against United. He showed a little bit of quality with that pass, yep. but also he did that. You know that it's not called a flip flap. You know when you flick it from one foot to the other and you get yep. around a tight space. That Cazorla used to do it a lot. He, he showed a little bit of class and quality and coming and in in a game confidence. like that, that circumstance. Yeah. You know, what I mean, of that magnitude, I liked mm. what I saw. So okay, now it gets really interesting mm -hmm. because what we've got for that front three is essentially one of Saka, Martinelli. Jesus, Inquietia, Marquinhos. So you feel that someone who started the United game is going to have to keep their place? And I think, that, I think personally, that would be Martinelli. I agree. Um, you know, I think a, a Martinelli in that game is the sort of guy that, you know, he, 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 will, he will get out of defence. He's fit at the moment as well. He's flying. Um, I play him. OK, so now... Uh, let's leave the right wing for a second. Let's go up front because I think we all agree Eddie surely starts. Eddie in surely game. starts in this and game. And he deserves it, by the deserves way. Deserves a start. Every time he's come on, he looked really, really sharp. 
He's at fuller pace and we want to get him scoring as well. Yeah. So this could be a game where you could get a couple of goals under his belt and really get him going for the season. But um, mm -hmm. he's looked sharp so far this season. And I'd like to see him start this game. I think he's deserved more Premier League minutes. Even. I'm not saying starts because yeah. Saka, Martin, Jesus have been doing their thing. But I think he's been deserving of... He's been coming on sort of around 75 minutes. Mm. I think he's been at 65, maybe even half yeah. an hour because... I love the way he came against Villa, stretched the game, just his hold-up play. And hold-up play isn't just being strong with your back to goal. It's also knocking it into space and running and mm. winning fouls. And I'm really happy for Eddie in the way he's been starting. Yeah. He's been terrific. Chance for him to get some goals, though, because yeah. strikers are judged on yeah. goals. Mm -hmm. And everybody will be probably totting out the start. Oh, he played four, scored none or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Not taking into account that he's not started any of them. Exactly. So this is a chance for him to play against, you know, you know, I don't disrespect, but weak opposition to a Premier League team mm -hmm. and get a couple of goals under his belt, hopefully. I agree. OK, I'm going to let you drag whoever you think is playing on the right-hand side. Right-hand right side, um, I think it's time... have to come all the way over here. It's time for this guy, um, Marquinhos, right? Um, now, um, of course, that would probably have been Pepe before he went out on loan. Mm -hmm. Marquinhos is an interesting one. Um, we brought him in. We thought, we thought that he was going to, you know, paid about three point five million pounds for him. All the talk was he was going to be bought in and probably been go out on loan somewhere to learn his trade. Mm -hmm. He's impressed so much in the games that he's played for the the under twenty threes that they decided that no, we're going to keep this guy um, with the first team squad. And <laughs> number one, there's no one really. We don't want to play Saka. Because this guy, everybody's been saying he needs a bit of a rest. And he, yeah. he was brilliant, by the way, against Man United. And I think he could do it a little rest. We want him for the weekend. We need a sacker flying in that game. And also, Pepe's gone out on loan as well. And Reese Nelson's injured. So this is a chance, I feel, a big chance for a player like Marquinhos. And it might just be that this guy could be the guy that grabs the headlines. He could be the guy that just says, right, I've got my opportunity here. Yeah. Before I even thought I was going to get it, and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to show these Arsenal fans and the manager just what I'm all about. And I'm excited to see. It's these two in particular, or you could yeah. say these three, that I'm really... But I've seen Eddie before, but these two I am excited to see, and I really hope they start. But I think Marquinhos could be in from the start, and that's a fairly strong side. Well, it's interesting, because if I'm just a highlight here, actually, what you've got on the right, oh, sorry, on the left, is a left-hand side that's kind of very used to each other in kind of, you know, mm -hmm. Xhaka, Martinelli, Tierney. And on the right, we'll highlight in yellow, a very new right-hand side. Yeah. That, you know, in Tommy Asu, Vieira, Marquinhos, who will all be getting used to each other. So very true. I think that is going to be a very interesting dynamic but you've to got, see. You've got the, you know, if Marquinhos would say, you know, Look, these two lose the ball these two back here yeah. the experience of holding very true and you've got Tommy Asu who's a solid player so that negates that a bit so yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I hope this is the team but of course this is it let's, so let's remind ourselves we've got Matt Turner in goal we've got Takeru Tommy Asu at right back Rob Holding Gabriel Magalhaes and Kieran Tierney in the back four um, Albert Sambi Lakonga took me a second to remember his first name Albert Sambi Lakonga Fabio Vieira and Granit Xhaka as our midfield three with Marquinhos Eddie Nketiah and Gabriel Marte in the front three I'd be very happy if that team went out I think you're yep. getting rest to key players like Odegaard and Saka um, Saliba Jesus Jesus and you're still going out with a team that should really do something. I don't fear, touch wood, for the fitness of too many of these players, mm. you know, and that is obviously something Arsenal keeping in mind, having made a good, strong... And imagine if somebody game. like, a, you know, a Fabio Vieira goes out and has an outstanding game, could be in for the weekend as well. Well, this is Never it. know. This That's what we it. want. We want these guys challenging for places. Marquinhos, go out there and make people say, you know what? I reckon we should start him against Everton. Yeah. That's what we want. So, yeah, I agree. Um, massive opportunity for them. Massive yeah, opportunity. It absolutely is. Robbie, a big thanks for joining me. Have you enjoyed no this? It's, I've, I've, it's I've good fun, this Yeah, yeah I've enjoyed this. It's been great fun. Also, we'd like to know from you guys out there, what's your start, you know, your predicted mm. starting 11 for the game? Who would you like to see start? Do you agree with what we're saying here? Yeah, absolutely. And go check out our preview as well that Robbie and I did. That is out on the channel. Go have a little look at it. Let us know in the comments, as Robbie has mentioned. And yeah, Zurich will be covering it all from the starting 11 all the way through and taking your videos in full time after. So we'll see you then. Shop for AFTV merch 
at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.